Welcome to the Four Wise Monkeys, the best shares and investment advice on the web. Our four monkeys providing the wisdom this week are none other than David Stevenson from the Financial Times, Stephen Barber from Self Trade, pro share investor Paul Dolman Darrell, and the naked trader Robbie Burns. And your host today is Ryan Dean. Biotechnology is on today's agenda as the monkeys seek out the best value shares. For more on that and other investments, then carry on watching the show. One share I'm interested in at the moment is called Robert Walters. It's in the recruitment sector. Recruitment sector, as you all know, has had a really, really hard time. been driven right down. But there's signs of bids coming in uh, for the sector. Michael Page has already been approached. And I think Robert Walters uh, could be the next one on the line for there. So I bought on the, the hopes of a bid. So one very strong company for uncertain times is one called Mears Group. Uh, interesting one, it's just been promoted from the AIM index to the main index, which means I can buy it in my ISA for the first time. So I've stuck some in my ISA for uh, hopefully 20% upside. Uh, it's won lots of good contracts recently, and uh, social housing is, is its uh, main high point. And it's, it's winning the contracts, and I like the look of it very much. Now it's time to find out what's getting the monkeys in the studio excited. Right, guys, there's only two of you here this week, so you're going to have to pull your weight that little bit more. Um, Paul, you're up first. What have you brought for us this week? Yeah, I'm going to talk to you about a company called Printing.com. Uh, this print that's leaflets, posters, conference materials for small organisations, mum and pup companies, basically. Um, this company is on a 11% yield, P of 8, very, very cheap stock at the moment. It's actually built its own facility in Manchester using these Japanese printers, state-of-the-art best printers, in the world, um, which basically print four colours. Now, that might not seem a, a large number of colours, but it allows you to build um, uh, leaflets that are really high quality, but not only that, by centralising it, it makes it very low cost compared to its competitors. OK, Paul, is this a company that's based solely in Britain, or are they looking at the global market? No, British-based company, but they are expanding abroad. What they're doing is they're a franchise company, so they sell to, to shops, and people bear a lot of the cost of expansion. But what they're now looking at is master franchises. So they've started to move into France, they've moved into Australia, and what they're doing there is they're selling the software and the idea and the concept, and essentially just receiving free money, free licensing money for that. And therefore, you know, the shares might not go somewhere for a while, but when they do, you know, they could easily double whilst paying you that yield at the same time. OK, Paul. Now, Stephen, printing.com. Is this a share that interests you? I'm, I can see why Paul likes it. It's a typical sort of Paul pick, if you like. It's, it's, uh, it's not too expensive. It's, it's got a reasonable yield. Earnings are fairly steady. And there's even potential here for a bit of, bit of recovery play from where it's, where it's been. OK, Stephen, you're up next. And I believe you're going to be talking to us a little bit about biotech. So what have you got for us today? I think biotechnology is quite an interesting sector. It offers both growth and value potentially, if, if you like. Um, price earnings actually at the lowest they've been for a decade. And meanwhile, the, the sort of growth story that you've got behind this, the story of, of ageing population and new economies coming on tap in China and Asia, where, where there's going to be continued demand for these sort of products, is really is quite impressive. What would be the best way for me to actually invest in biotechs then, Stephen? One way you might look at, uh, at getting access to this, uh, this sector is the investment trust uh, sector. And um, these offer, well, first of all, they're actually quite good at doing it. They're quite good at investing in these companies. Uh, and secondly, the sector as a whole, the investment trust sector, uh, is trading at a, a fair discount across all uh, uh, investment trust types. It's about 10% at the moment on average, uh, which means you have an extra bit of value on top of the value. OK, Paul, uh, biotechs, so, I mean... Firstly, would you invest there? And secondly, how would you invest there? The reality is I'm not an expert in applied microbiology. These companies are taking very large bets on drugs succeeding. And to actually understand whether that drug is going to succeed or not is not something I can do. So if I'm interested in the investment, I would definitely say the way to enter it, unless you happen to be an expert in this field, is really to go and pick a fund rather than an individual stock. Well, that's actually quite interesting, uh, Paul, because coming up next is David talking about investing in one biotech company so uh, that should be interesting uh, thanks very much guys for joining us and we'll see you both next week
And this week, I'm going to talk about a biotech company. It's called Tepnel Life Sciences, T-E-P-N-E-L. Um, and it's that very, very rare creature, which is a biotech company that makes a profit. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and what's really interesting about it is, is that it, it's not really in the business of developing drugs as such. It does a lot of stuff to do with genetic testing, a lot of laboratory services for biotech companies, a lot of testing services. Biotechs also do quite well because they're non-correlated or uncorrelated with why the stock market. So if the stock market goes down, this share doesn't necessarily go down with the stock market. Uh, it's solidly profitable. Its shares are actually quite reasonable. And I think at trading anything between 10 or 12 times this year's profits and single figures for next year. And I think it's that great killer combination. It's a company which is growing fast, great technology, great future, and reasonable share price. My tip. If you enjoyed the show, then log on to 4wm.co.uk and sign up to the Four Wise Monkeys newsletter. We'll see you next week.